Hello, and welcome back to another chapter in the SkyBlue Studios tutorial series. Now that we know how to create a simple interface in UMG, we made this menu and we made the instructions and we learned how to go between them. Let's try creating a simple health system. Uh, this system will allow us to display the health of our character on the HUD with both a bar and a number system in a stylish fashion that can be adapted to fit any need in any other similar system. Uh, so the first thing we're going to need to do is open up our player. I'm going to add a new variable called health. I'm going to make this an integer. I'm going to compile. I'm going to set default to 100. And I'm going to add another one called max health. Compile it again. And I'm going to make it 100. And before we do anything in the UI, I'm just we're going to make the functions for health first. So we're going to add a new function. We're going to call it remove health. It's not that complex. We just need to add a few things. Uh, so first, we are going to get health, and then we are going to oh, we're going to need to add an input to it. I'm going to make the input. Uh, lost health we're going to make it another integer compile it again and then we're going to get health and we're going to subtract integer from it and we're going to subtract the lost health and then we're going to clamp so what a clamp does is it means that if our value goes below this minimum value or above this maximum value it sets it to that value so if we make the maximum max health, and obviously we can change this later, but at the moment max health is 100. So with just the default max health, if if we try to subtract um, negative health, so we ended up ga gaining health from a double, double negative, um, and we and it was going to be 110, then this would make it with a maximum of 100. And similarly, if we try to subtract more health than we actually have left, then this will make it a minimum. Uh, it will make it zero because it can't go below zero. And then after we do this, we're just going to set health. So you can see it's very simple, but it just means it, it looks nicer like this. I'm just going to add another function, and this will be add health, and it will be basically the exact same except instead of subtracting, we just uh, add. So we're going to go gained health we'll just go back in here we'll get this stuff it's not that much but just copy and paste anyway and we'll put it there and then we'll just go add add them together and then we do that I'll just move this over so it looks nicer and so now we have the basics of our health system so we have a health number over here we have the ability to add and remove health and now we're just going to make it so that we can actually do it in game so we're just going to add a simple thing uh, we'll go into input in here we'll go action mappings and we'll add uh, lmb We'll make it left mouse button and then we'll add a new one called RMB and we'll make it right mouse button okay then we'll go back to our player and then we'll add new input down here LMB then we'll go remove health and we'll just make it uh, 35 and then we will make our RMB add health and we'll make it add 30 okay so now we can add and subtract health the only thing is that we can't see it so we're just going to add, we're just going to create a new widget and we're going to, down here, we're going to call it HUD. 
And if we open it up, you can see we have a new slate. Or oh, slate. Uh, you can call it what you want. This is our new canvas. I guess you can call it that because it's a canvas panel. And uh, we've already got the canvas panel there, so we're just going to add a progress bar up here. I'll put it down here on the left and make it bigger. Uh, the style, make the background image. Oh, we'll leave it how it is, but we'll change the tint. So we'll make the tint uh, red, fully red. Move this up. Oh, in fact, we might make that. We'll make that darker red. We'll put that down. Uh, actually, let's make it grey. 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Okay. Should make it down like that. And then we'll make the fill image, which is what our health will actually look like. We'll make that red. And we've got all that. Marquee image will just leave. And percent, by well, default, we'll just have it at 100%. Uh, whoops, I mean 1, because it's 0 to 1, and we'll need to change this, uh, the fill image there doesn't really properly affect it, you have to actually change it here, so make it that, and you can see if we put this as 0.5, and you'll see it works now, so I'll just leave it at 1, because uh, we'll start with full health, of course, like we are in, the, in our uh, logic, and we'll also put uh, some text on it, right there, and you can't actually make it a child. We will center it, we will make the anchors 0 0.5, 0 0.5, we'll change it to the bottom left, and we'll do the same with that actually, make it to the bottom left, and we will put that in the center, or just about there, so now we have our text, and it's being cut off for some reason, so let's just make it bigger, make it size to content in fact, because that's the smart way to do it, and we will make the text, we'll make it 100. So now we have our text, so we need to name it, of course. I mean, to make it a variable, so we'll, make, we'll name it text block under score health and progress bar underscore health. And so now we have our UI, it's pretty basic, of course, but we have our UI set up. So what we're actually going to do is, you may have thought when we created these uh, these functions, you may have thought it's a bit useless because we can we can easily just do it in the in the graph itself. But the reason we do this is because then instead of having to update the HUD every single frame, which would take it doesn't take a whole lot of power, but it takes more than it needs to. We can we can update it only when we need to with this. So in the HUD, we're going to go back into the into the we're going to go into the uh, event graph. I'm going to add a new, oh, we'll add a new uh, custom event, I mean. we'll call it refresh, we could use a function but I'm using a custom event instead, we'll get progress bar dot health, uh, uh, percent, I'll put it over there, we will get player pawn. We will cast to player. Put that up there. If you if you're using a pure cast, then you don't need to put it up there. And as player, we will get health. And we will get max health also. And we will divide. Oh, well, we need to convert them to floats so we can get a decimal. Two float. Put that down there and we'll duplicate it up here. Control W, by the way, is what I'm using to duplicate things. And then we'll get this divided by. This, so this, if we divide our health by our max health, then it will give us the uh, percentage as a number 
out of one. So, for instance, if we have 50 health and we have 100 as our max health, 50 divided by 100 is half, and since the progress bar uses a number from 0 to 1, 1 being 100% and 0 being 0%, then if we have a half, that will give us 50% of our progress bar filled. Now we set that there, and then with our text block health, I'm going to get that, and we want to set text, and we would just convert our health to an integer. Uh, our integer health to a text and so this will just update it there so uh, in our player we just want to uh, first of all we need to actually add our hard to the screen so on begin play which we have up here we'll go create widget uh, and we'll change it to hard and we'll get player whatever and we will add to viewport of course because we need to and we will also set input mode on our player uh, to game only because otherwise the ui can affect our mouse uh, and so then we want to also uh, set this a variable so we'll right click and promote to variable and we can drag it out because it's on top because it's newer and we will call it HUD, what do call it, widget HUD, and we're not using capitals for HUD because it's a variable name, and then in add health we can get our HUD, and refresh, and we'll just control C and paste it with control V in here. And compile and save everything. You'll see that if I left click, then our health goes down, and right clicking, our health goes up. So the system's working, and everything's good. Cool. So that concludes this tutorial on UE4. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button and subscribe if you want to see more. Bye.